Are you ready for it? <laughs> Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am back. Yes, that's right, people. I am back. Dancing on Ice is back. Series 11. Can, can you believe it? Series 11. I am back in London and I am so ready to get started on Dancing on Ice. This series is going to be incredible. The lineup is absolutely brilliant, and if you haven't seen it, if you've been sleeping under a rock possibly, this is it. The celeb lineup is awesome, and I have no idea who I am paired up with. We'll see. But I just wanted to say hello. I wanted to kind of welcome you guys back into my life, what happens in and around Dancing on Ice. Yes, this is what jet lag looks like. Look at them bags. Damn. Shoot, girl. I just landed yesterday. It has been a whirlwind of the past 24 or 48 hours and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a look into what happened. It's not as glamorous as you think. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. That is the last workout on the beach this season. LA, I'm gonna miss you. London, I shall see you in the morning. Let's do this. Well, we've just gone to the airport and I've got so much shit with me. Oh my god, here we go again, series 11. I gotta say, the airport is absolutely rammed. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get checked in, get through security, and have a cocktail. All right, that was epic. I am all about security, but they are trying new things here at LAX, and it's not working. Basically, keep everything in your bag. Don't take your shoes off, don't take your hat off. Put everything in your bag. You don't have to take your, com your computers out anymore. Every single person that walks through sets the metal detector off. I mean, I know we're just trying to be safe people, but how beautiful is LAX? Um, ADD much, Matt? Love it, love it. Why am I shopping? Focus. I pack so much crap with me. I don't need to be shopping. There's such incredible stores at the airport. Focus. I don't even like to shop. And I don't need vitamin C and pearls for my skin. Maybe I do. That's the thing with traveling, especially flying, is you stand in line at check-in, right? Then you stand in line at security, then you stand in line at the gate, and then you stand in line again in the jetway. There has got to be a better solution. I just don't get it. Somebody please come up with some new innovations so we don't have to stand. I know I'm flying for 11 hours and I'm sat down the entire time, but it's just the system needs to be streamlined. I don't get it. Unfortunately on this flight, I'm not turning left. That's all right. I don't need a bed. You don't. Um. Yes, you do. You need a bed. Yeah, this plane was an A380. Now that is the full double-decker plane. And if you've never been on one before, or if you've never seen one before, they're huge. It's like huge, huge. How does this thing even fly? And I, I don't understand how we fly anyway. I mean, I get the science behind it and all of that, but whenever I'm in the air, especially like over the Atlantic, no land in sight, 40,000 feet in the air, and my brain goes a little psycho and I'm like, how are we up here? <sighs> Mind blown. Every time I'm on a plane, I'm just in absolute, I'm in awe, speechless. I actually sit and can, look out the window for 11 hours, even over the ocean. I look for the whales. <laughs> and after 11 hours, I am back in London and I am ready to meet the gang. Have arrived live, luggage in tow. Now, we jump in the car and sit in traffic. Now 
And we have some new pros this year, two of which I have never worked with before. I know of their work. I know them from the cruise ships, not that I ever did the cruise ships. Alex and Carlotta, they're absolutely incredible. She is the size of like an M&M. She's tiny. Carlotta is another blogger. She's awesome. They've traveled the world with their skating and she's documented pretty much everything. So go have a look at her channel as well. It's really cool. And we had a full day of meetings at ITV yesterday just to kind of go through what the show is going to be about. I tell you what, they have got some really big things planned. It is going to be exciting. Basically, if you take last year's series and throw in a little bit of sugar, a little bit of spice, a little bit more sequins, mix it all up, throw some magic in there, that's what this series is going to be. It's going to be awesome. No, don't fret. Daniel is back. I've seen all the social media about where's Dan, where's Dan, where's Dan? He's still with us. He's not gonna be a pro this year. He is our associate creative director. And I've said this many times before, I've worked with Daniel from day one of Dancing on Ice. It's been 11 series, it's been 12 years. Dan's incredible. He's an incredible showman. He's an incredible choreographer. He's an incredible creative as well. Yeah, he's super innovative and um, I'm really excited to get to work with him on this series. But yes, he will be missed as a pro, of course. However, we still get him. He's not going anywhere. And then, Dun dun dun, dun dun dun. I get to meet my next victim. This week, we are doing introductions. I have no idea who I have. I'm nervous, I'm a little bit scared, and I have no idea what or whom to expect. You guys have seen the lineup. Now, who do you think? Who do you think I'm gonna skate with? I've loved all the comments so far on all the social medias and all the tweets and all the grams and on all the, the Facebookers, but um, uh, you guys make me laugh. Also, the photo that I put up on Instagram uh, a couple of days ago, yes, that was Pamela Anderson. I've already skated with her. She's already done our show. I guess I, I didn't mean to, you know, fool you or, but the comments were hilarious. It was like, why would Pam do the show again? She's already doing it. I know that's her tattoo. I, I can see her blonde hair. I mean, those are her. No, that, that, that's a picture from a long time ago. Don't worry, everybody relax. Thank you guys, it is so good to be back in town. I cannot wait to get started this week. Keep sharing these videos, like, subscribe, you know what to do. I will be here, you're gonna be there, and I'll see you soon.